Today I'm going to show you how I make my old grain recipes in brew fodder and I'm also going to show you some tips and tricks and I think that you would think that these ones are really cool but let's just kick it. I'm Dr. Hans, this is Dr. Hans Brewery, my channel about beer and home brewing. Let's jump directly into brew fodder. Okay, we are in brew fodder. I'm gonna start by adding a new recipe. And I'm gonna brew a Dunkelweizen. Dunkelweizen is a German wheat style wheat beer, like Hefeweizen, dark Hefeweizen, more malty rich Hefeweizen. I love that beer style and as we're going into the autumn, I think that will be very good because this is quite a big batch, around 60 liters. I have my equipment, the Guten 70, selected here, but you can of course change it out to your system or you can tweak it and I will probably tweak this uh, a bit, will probably not boil off three liters with this system at it's quite cold outside mash time dead space this is the amount of water that fits below the grain pipe so the bottom of the grain pipe and bottle of the kettle the brew house efficiency this i will change out as this is a wheat beer so this is probably my normal efficiency but when I brew wheat beers, my efficiency goes down if it's a st sticky mash, like a wheat beer. So I'm gonna lower this to around 78%, say. But you need to like learn your numbers. Don't be totally anal in, in the beginning if you don't hit your numbers. Just tweak the equipment as you learn your system. Let's add some fermentables. This is gonna be super cool. I have some really cool tricks also regarding hops. Let's press add and I'm just gonna do this super quick. Some wheat malt. You, you should of course choose the, the one you have but if you don't find the, the one you have you can choose the one that you think are most close to that one or you could go to the, uh, the, the malt producer, the malterist web page or send them an email and get the exact numbers here and add them of course change everything out but yes gonna do this quickly now for this video so this is super cool just add uh, any amount one kilo doesn't really matter now plus you see it popped up there and let's add some munich i have some lighter munich let's choose this one I'm gonna go for a kilo plus so now we have two ingredients and I'm gonna go for some cara aroma cara uh, aroma you can also use cara munich type one type two I think would be really cool also uh, this reminds me of when I used cara munich one kilo oh that's a lot but it doesn't really matter right now I'm also gonna add some chocolate, but not chocolate malt. I don't like chocolate malt, so I'm gonna go for chocolate. No, sorry, not there, here. Chocolate wheat. And of course, you need to check it out. So you can see this has seven, 750 EBC, this is 1000 EBC, so it does matter. One kilo, that's a lot. Okay, so now we can see this is just super weird but now this is really cool I'm gonna press the percentage button here and I'm just gonna say I want like two and a half percent and two and a half percent I want four to five percent and here oh and I want 50 percent you should at least use 50 percent wheat malt we have some wheat malt here also you can see if you want to stick to the the style at least 50 percent that is law in in germany okay so we are of course way off with the amount but now we can actually well, you can see here we have the percentage set now now we can take the og now, let me do this first let me 
get in here and change these bags. I will show you what happens. Let's set this back to, to 85. Say no. If I press the OG button now, and I can just set what read and gravity I want, and the, it will scale the recipe, keep the percentage, and now it got super weird. But as I'm brewing a uh, wheat beer, I will not get 85%. So lower it. Yes, yeah, simulating that I would have forgotten to do this in the beginning. Save. Now, if I say yes to scale, it will add more. Malt to compensate. Now it did something weird here. Doesn't really matter, of course, if you are anal, but I'm gonna screw this up shortly. I will show you. Of course, 2.5, 2.5, this is, I can't work with these numbers, so I'm just gonna say 6 kilos and 5.5, uh, so it's easy on, on brew day, 300 grams and I'm gonna show you in the end where you can download this recipe if you want. You can change it out to birds and stones. You can add some yeast nutrient also. Of course, no findings in a wheat beer. This is this is natural haze, baby. This is natural haze, baby. Teaspoon, teaspoon, one teaspoon at 50 minutes sounds okay to me. Oh, I forgot the most important thing. Can you see here? We should, of course, have chosen a beer style, Dunkel. Yes, I know, my channel suck, you should not subscribe. This is, I'm showing the both the good and the bad here. Here you can see it, we are a little bit low in ABV, but that also, this thing will end at 10.14, I don't think so. Let's add some yeast to see what happens. This will be a split batch, I'm doing like angel yeast, safflager and Lalleman yeast, but now you can just add one or sport. So I'm gonna say six package. Uh, this is gonna be a three way split batch. So I'm gonna add two package of each. If you don't find your yeast, same thing here. You can go here and change all out the, the numbers. So now it says 10 10, and we are in the zone. Of course, not here. That's why it's red. The IBUs because we haven't added any hops yet. Maybe it won't ferment out to 1010, maybe we'll go to, so I'm guessing and pressing save here to 1012. And now this is locked at 10 to 12. This is just a wild guess. But before we start locking final gravity, let's reset that. We should look at the mash. Have a like standard here. 60 minutes, 65 doesn't mean that it's a standard, but it's, it comes with that setting. For the Hefe, Dunkel Hefe Weizen or Dunkel Weizen, I'm thinking if you're going for a bigger beer, a higher ABV beer, you could mash a little bit lower, maybe like 60, 60, 63 C, then you might add the time there, because there will not be as rapid mash. Does that make any sense? But if you're going for a little less ABV beer, you can mash a little bit higher, so we will leave a little bit more body there. So I'm going for 68 at 60 minutes, then I'm gonna do a mash out at temperature 78 See, I'm going to do 20 minutes. I'm going to come back to that. Ramp time, it depends. I can add 20, but it will take longer. Save. We can see now what it's thinking. It's thinking 10 11 now, not 10 10. But I'm still thinking probably end a little bit higher. I don't think it will go below 10 12. But we will have to wait and see. So I will lock it now. And the reason for 20 minutes is that the chocolate wheat malt will be top mashed and I will do that at the mash out. So I'm gonna add this in the notes section. Top mash the shock 
go let wheat at mash out and if you don't know what top mashing is and why i'm doing it i will link down below to a video i think it's called brew better stout but that fits all dark beers so a lot of tips in that video link in the description let's add some hops and here's some really cool features here also if we let's go for something german pearl hops if you know the exact percentage of alpha acids you can change it out otherwise leave it as is here you add the amount and i'm gonna do a a 20 minute edition you wouldn't really need that for this beer style you could just do bittering but as i want to do an epic grain to gloss i want to add some more hops but i don't want to do late hops here you can choose if you want if you're dry hopping if you choose the aroma how many minutes you would do the hop stand for some call this whirlpool but then you have to spin it the spinning is the whirlpool not the, the hop stand itself and of course you should add the temperature which you're holding at those 20 minutes see for yourself match hops first world tops but i'm going to boil 20 minutes let's add that in here you can see we give us like three ibus save i could have pressed add of course like i did last time and added the second one directly pearl hops and this i'm just gonna say that the the same amount here it doesn't really matter 60 minutes now we're gonna get 6.5 ibus but let's just press save and we'll add it in and now you can get some really cool things here here you can see the the ibu here you can see bitterness to gravity ratio that's regional gravity and if you press this it will pop up here and you have the relative bitterness ratio if you want that you can press that also i don't really want that but this can be cool but if i want to get up a little bit higher here now say somewhere around in the middle of the zone 12 13 i can just press ibu and it says look here now we have 15 and 20 so i gonna say 13 and press scale and only the bitterness addition changed and that is really cool feature if i would instead would like to use the bitterness to gravity ratio i could press this number here and said it's i when i'm brewing black ipa i'm like aiming for 0.7 i can scale it that way but i can just go back now because that's going to be way unbalanced for for this beer and says 13 again press scale i will look at my numbers and 30.8 no if i leave this number i will not be able to sleep tonight so 30. okay so that's looking good let's jump down here to fermentation i do ferment under pressure let's talk a little bit about that but if you don't why don't you start your fermentation around 17 and uh, let it go for two three days maybe it's hard to measure in days but let's say two days of active fermentation you should never ever measure things in days but it's the way this is set up and it is okay you can add another step and say i'm gonna end this fermentation at 20 i will hold it there for two days but i don't want to bump it up i want to bump it up one degree celsius per day and so here you have ramp days so that's 20 minus 17 that would be three days even though it says three days two days you have three ramp days here so i have three plus two plus three that's eight days and of course you can go on and add more steps like a like a cold crash or a conditioning time but let's take some stuff away here so i will ferment under pressure so i can start at 20. why i suggest like going 17 maybe 18 for uh, these styles of beer because even though you do want banana and cloves they're not supposed to be a banana clove 
bomb so you can hold down the uh, temperature a little bit maybe so I won't go bananas with this one if I'm starting this at 20 C if we click the pressurize box and say for three days how much pressure should we add it also depends if we are going let's say to ramp this up to 23 this will go faster let's say two days ramp this up in about two days holding it for for two days so 2023 if we jump over to the dr hans brewery web page drhansbrewery.com what a beautiful site doctor's tools let's check that one why so laggish because i build it let's find the dunkel weissen and here we can get in some troubles dunkel weissen is a quite high carbonated beer so if i would end this at 23 that would mean to get three volumes of co2 i would get to push that to 2.7 bars or 39 psi can show with the fahrenheit for you other fahrenheit guys and gals 73.4 because the end temperature that was matters my plastic pet fomenters won't go this high there's not suggest the 35 psi is okay so we will be at the like the lower end here you can see see that but we can still push some co2 at the end but if we would like have stayed on the 20 c and you will see we would be fine 35 psi 2.4 bars but we also want this to go fast so it will be it will be okay but i will not pressurize this as much and if you don't want to set as high pressure you could just set 15 15 psi and force carbonate afterwards but i'm gonna set this to 35 35 and i would put some pressure on there afterwards also to get it as fizzy as it should be. Let's do add some sort of cold crash here. Because this is where people get this wrong. Let's set this around 4C um, for two days. We don't need like or try to get the yeast to drop out really. Ramp days, maybe it will be a ramp day there. And pressure. I, I, maybe I should set this to zero so now no one gets this wrong but look what happens here if temperature goes down to four if we jump back here if temperature would go down to four pressure will lower itself that doesn't mean that you sh should set the pressure to 17 psi or bar four celsius is 39 fahrenheit this means that this is physics when the beverage gets colder it will shrink and also with the headspace therefore the pressure will go down three volumes that wasn't the correct thing right so let's see here so i'm not satisfied with that so this will be correct so around 15 will be so let's do a little correction here in the end 15 so let's add a step let's add a conditioning step we are actually carbonation that's better let's add a carbonation step we're actually put gas on it hold it at four and set it for a, a couple of days and uh, here no ramp days here we, we could really add some pressure the spawning valve should take off of the fermentation, so when you start a cold crash, you can take off the spawning valve. But here we actually have put pressure on this. Does this make sense? If not, smash the dislike button twice. Let me now show you how to 
download this recipe if you want to uh, play around with it or if you want my Guten 70 equipment profile. Down in the description I will put a link for you and when you click that you will come to my buy me a coffee page and the download. So you press get this and don't think that you have to pay anything you can just add a value of zero but if you want to buy me a beer feel free to do that and you enter your name and your email and you will get the recipe. I also think there's a place you can place a nasty comment. When you have downloaded the recipe you could just import it, beer xml, go to your download and it's imported. Now you can play around with it. So we could change out our equipment. Maybe you're using uh, uh, like my old brewing system. If, if I'm gonna brew this on my old brewing system, there's a lot of equipment here. Let's say let's say we have a grandfather G30. It says 72% efficiency. Okay. Do you want to scale the recipe? Yes. So now the recipe is scaled down and uh, you are good to go and brewing with your system. If you need to tweak anything, maybe you have a little bit higher efficiency than 72, maybe you have 78 like I uh, think I have at least. You can scale up to that. You can tweak around with these settings. I'm going into no chill season here also. So do you want to see how to convert an old recipe in Brewfather for no chill? Let me know down below. A big shout out to Patreon and channel members for all your support. I see you behind the scenes. If you haven't checked out the uh, Brew Better Stout video where I go through top mashing and a lot of other tips for darker beers, go and check out this one. Okay, thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Då åkte Hans out. Yes, I'm looking at you.